Hello everyone, I hope you're really well. Today I have a product review for you and it's actually of a primer. Now I have tried quite a few primers over the years. When I was younger I used to try like the really cheap drugstore ones that I just did not have any success with at all. In spite of all the great reviews I read, primers just did not work for me. And I think it's because I was trying a lot of the quite heavy silicon based ones, which just are no good for my skin. They were gonna break me out and just, it would feel like you were putting tons of product on your skin and just choking your skin and making it feel not very nice. So, I then started to dabble in some of the higher end primers and that's where this one comes in. Now, just to um, explain how I got my hands on this, because I did not pay full price for this. Full price is like the best part of £50, which is why I thought it would be worth doing a review, because it is expensive. I had seen a few YouTubers talk about this, including my absolute favourite YouTuber, Cassie over on Thrift Thick. I think she's amazing. This is like her favourite, favourite primer, um, at least it is at the moment. And I just thought her skin is really similar to mine, you know, acne prone, quite oily, it's got to be worth trying. So I've been coveting this primer for ages. I kept looking for samples of it maybe just to give it a go. Um, I don't know whether I would have been able to pick up a sample from Golan themselves, I don't know. But anyway, in this most lucky moment, I happened to look on eBay and there was only about half an hour left on this bottle of the full product. I think the person selling it had only used it once. I don't know why they decided to sell it. Maybe they just didn't think it was worth the money and they wanted to recoup some of it back. But boy, am I happy they did it because it is genuine. And I think I paid less than 20 pounds for it. I was so unbelievably chuffed and excited when I got it. I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it. It feels very luxurious. I know that they've changed the packaging now. It's in a much more straight bottle, but I just, I love this old style packaging. I think it looks a lot more luxurious than the new one. So I guess what you really want to know is, is it worth it? Is it worth the money? Well, before we get to that, let's just quickly hop over onto Golan's website and we'll just have a quick read of what it says just to make sure I'm getting all the facts right. So here's the different bottle that I mentioned. It's much more straight. Um, I much prefer the bottle that I've got. I just think it looks a lot nicer. And then we come on to some really brilliant marketing talk about why this face base is amazing. And you'll see words in there like special polymer and neutralizes excess sebum, stardust technology with diamond powder, pearlescent flex soft focus perfecting halo it's just like a marketing team have got together and come up with all the words that they can think of that describe this beautiful product and just kind of thrown it up on screen it's quite funny whereas they could have just gone down the really simple route of just saying that it's basically the sweat of unicorns in bottle form i think that would do it so you get 30 mil in the bottle and in my opinion it is freaking expensive because time you factored in what moisturiser you've got on underneath this and then whatever products you put on top, whatever foundation, it's just adding up to be really, really expensive. Okay, so in terms of their claims and how I feel it actually performs, I can't honestly say I've noticed any kind of plumping effect when you put it on. It's very lightweight. It's the lightest primer I've ever used. I'll just squirt some out so that you can see. Um, something else I really like about the packaging is the fact that it's got a really good controllable pump on it um, and what I mean by that is it's not one of those flimsy ones where you press it and too much product comes out. You can really cater to make sure you're getting exactly the right amount out which is important because you obviously don't want to go wasting any of this. You obviously get all these lovely um, little balls in here, these pearls and when I first got this I thought I can't quite understand how it's going to come out and I still don't fully understand it it's like some kind of magic it's fairy magic so this is what the product looks like I'll do a full pump it makes the most satisfying sound as it's coming out 
I don't know why that should be satisfying, but it satisfies me. So that's what a full pump looks like. You can see it's definitely on the runny side. The smell, oh, I'd heard people describe the sort of Guerlain violet uh, smell and it's absolutely beautiful. It's like, and I'm really sorry Guerlain, but it is like Palmer violets. If you're familiar with the sweet, I love them. I know a lot of people don't like them because they say they like eating soap, but it's a really sweet violet smell, which to me, amazing. It's got a real um, pink shimmery iridescence to it. And when they describe about how it does that kind of light diffusing, blemish blurring kind of technology stuff, I would definitely agree with that. I think obviously if you've got a massive blemish, then sometimes it can accentuate it because obviously it does have that iridescence to it. Um, but as long as you're putting something over the top of it, like a concealer or a foundation, then it just helps to kind of just blur everything away. Um, so you can see it's continuing to just drip down my hand. If I rub this in a little bit, it's got the most lightweight, almost water-like texture. It's very thin and the skin absorbs it super fast, probably because of the texture. I don't know whether this is showing up. I've not rubbed it in fully. I don't know whether the iridescence is showing up, but it's got the most beautiful iridescence to it. When this first arrived and I put some on the back of my hand, it's actually really sparkly when you look at it, particularly if you do shine a light on it or it's in natural light. And that did freak me out a lot. I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna walk around. And you know, people would be thinking, whoa, it's a vampire from Twilight. It's actually not like that at all. I think once you put it on your skin and it's rubbed in, and like I said, it disappears. Um, so it doesn't leave any kind of residue on your skin at all maybe the slightest bit of tackiness. Um, oh, and I use generally around a pump and a little bit. One pump sometimes is enough. Sometimes I feel like I need a little bit more. I tend to bring foundation quite low down. I just like to kind of blanket bomb the whole situation. But you can see that this is actually completely dried on my hand now, and my skin now feels ever so slightly tacky, but it feels primed and, and ready for something else to go on top of it. I found that whatever foundation I put on top of this goes on really nicely. In terms of whether I think this product is actually worth it, I just, I don't think I can imagine my life without this product in it. And I know that sounds ridiculous. You feel really special when you're using it. You look in the mirror and think, dang, my skin's looking good today. And it'll be this, because of the fact that it gives you that healthy kind of glow luminosity. The only thing I would say, my oiliest area is my forehead and generally speaking my oils do start to still come through and I do definitely need to blot. It does depend a little bit on what foundation I've used because some of them obviously perform a bit better in terms of oil control and that's kind of down to unfortunately experimentation because the more I'm learning about oily skin and what works, and I'm sure this is the case for other skin types, you do need to get that cocktail right of making sure you're using the right moisturiser, you're using the right foundation, the right primer, the right setting powder, you know, all of these things can play a huge part in how your skin looks throughout the day and it's been a massive learning curve for me. So unfortunately I don't think there are any quick fixes or shortcuts around that it's definitely experimentation but I would say more often than not this primer does perform really well if you can get a sample of this it's definitely worth checking out because it's unlike any primer I've ever used before so it's, it's definitely special you can probably see that it doesn't look like I've used that much I'm down to like here I've had this for well over a month probably about five or six weeks now and I don't use it every day but I do use it a good, you know, three or four times a week. And I do absolutely love this primer. I'll be interested to see how long it lasts because, you know, value is really important, particularly when it is something that's expensive as this. I think what you're getting with a primer like this, it's not obviously noticeable when you look at yourself and you think, yeah, I can see it. But you just look at how you're looking all together and think, yes, I look good today. So. What it ultimately comes down to is, would I recommend this? 
It's a hard one because it is so expensive and it's not like it performs completely knock your socks off amazing. But would I repurchase you? Do you know, I just, I can't imagine my life without this primer in it now. I think it probably would last a long time. I think I would wait and try and get it for a bargain again, whether that be through eBay or whether it be waiting for an offer code or maybe just asking for it for a, a present from someone lovely who would be happy to spend that much on me because I just I can't imagine not having this in my life anymore so I think that's probably telling you a great deal in terms of how I feel about this. I do absolutely love it so I am super chuffed to have this in my life and I just think it's gorgeous. I really want to try other stuff from the Meteorites range but it is really expensive, it's definitely high end. If you can afford to have that kind of splurge, then I say go for it if you've got similar skin to me, because it is a beautiful product. And I've tried some other primers that are truly, truly hideous. And I think if you're going down the road of maybe trying some more budget friendly primers around the maybe 10 pounds mark, then once you've tried four of those and they've been rubbish, you're pretty much near as damn it on the price of one of these anyway. Wow, there's some enabling for you there. There's some interesting justification. So there we have it. Um, I hope this review was helpful to you. If it was, just give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you again soon. Bye. I've only just put this on and this already feels baby, silky, smooth gorgeousness. If anything, the Beauty Blender side feels drier and smoother.